Elaine and I have always dreamed of cruising the Nile because of the fabulous monuments, the incredible atmosphere, the sense of romance. So when it came to choosing how we were going to do it, we chose very carefully. And we ended up picking the Sinesta St. George, largely because it really had the best reviews of all the cruise ships in Egypt. And the best schedule. Well, we're just entering the Sinesta St. George on our three-day Nile cruise. And we immediately checked out what we were going to be doing. We're very excited to start our days with you. Can you tell us a little about the program? So we'll do the fluke ride first. So we're taking a quick tour of Aswan um, from the ship, and uh, Ahmed is our tour guide. He was the Egyptologist who accompanied us all the way. Really qualified and fun guy, and a huge addition to the cruise. And then uh, we'll do uh, the high dam. This is Lake Nasser. Home to a reputed 48,000 crocodiles. And then we'll do the Elijah. Wow. Okay. And, and this is for the first day in uh, Aswan. And tomorrow, early morning, the ship will start sailing uh, direction to Luxor. We'll stop uh, by Komombo in a way. This is the first time we'll be. So we'll do the Komombo temple. The ship will dock in front of the temple. So this temple to the crocodile god was built as a talisman of sorts. So the, the remedy was basically to face your enemy and build a temple to them if they're threatening you. And we'll start sailing again, enjoy the sailing between Aswan and Luxor, it's, it's amazing. And then we'll stop uh, in Edfu, and then we'll do Edfu by the horse carriage ride. Okay, Len and I are jogging along next to the Nile. On the way to which temple are they? Edfu. And the ship will start sailing again direction to, to Esna. And we'll, you will have the Egyptian food, and it's highly recommended to wear your fancy dress. Thank you for bringing me on the classy cruise. <laughs> so you have the Egyptian food, you have your Egyptian dress, and you have the Egyptian night. And you will spend a magnificent night, and you will always remember this night in your, in your life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. Yeah. And I'm trying to avoid eating five yeah, courses. Thank you. Because uh, that's what happens on a cruise. There's so much food, it's all good. The Sunday morning, uh, we reach Luxor. Uh, and Sunday, we do the West Bank visit. So we do uh, Vale of Kings, Vale of Queens, and Hatshepsut. So we're in the Tamil Ramses IV, and what's amazing are the photos that are still as vivid today as they were, I assume, when the tomb was sealed. And then next day you do the, the East Bank, the Karnak and the Luxor Temple. There's no way we could do justice to these amazing sites because this video is about the cruise. So for details, please go to our Ideal Vacation in Egypt blog at ittakes2totravel.com. Meanwhile, it's time to take a closer look at the Sinesta St. George. Imad, how many uh, guests actually does the ship accommodate? In total, we have 47 deluxe cabin and one uh, royal suite and nine presidential suite. Oh. It's totally renovated in, uh, in the end of 2016. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There's a very luxurious feel to the lobby and the staircases with the original artwork everywhere. There's a nice piano bar on the way upstairs. And uh, this is uh, the fourth floor here. This is where you sit, right? <laughs> <laughs> he runs the show from here. And we have uh, two massage rooms. Uh, one here with the sauna and one uh, with the steam. Looks together, do full body mass with body rubbing by towel like the mummy thing. Oh, you know, I mean, that's the Egyptian, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, yeah, we'll Was that the dead mummy? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll finish the aromatherapy massage. Turns out massages yeah. run about $60 per hour, a little bit less than the US, but not the cheapest thing on the ship. Is there? Yes. On this bar, we were shown to our suite overlooking the Nile. This is our first view of our cabin. Wow, it's magnificent. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Very nice. So lovely. Thank you. But all the cabin has the tea and coffee facilities. Okay. Right. The space suites and cabin. All yes. the cabin. The bathroom and stuff. And um, this shower box, it has like, if you see, we have, it has uh, jacuzzi, water massage, steam, 
and also you can pick up the phone from here. So wow. if you get a call, for, you get a call from your home. You can pick it up from here. <laughs> beautiful, it's beautiful. beautiful. So there's a full bathtub and everything. It seems to be a shower built right into the ceiling. Jacuzzi features as well around the bathtub, and a surround sound or surround water. Elaine's very happy about the built-in hairdryer. It's uh, a lovely, lovely ship, and all of the cosmetic products are, I'm going to let Derek pronounce it, L'Occitane from Provence, which we haven't seen anywhere in Egypt. So the room looks extremely comfortable. King-size bed. We're very happy about the nice cotton sheets. Egyptian cotton. Speaks for itself. Some good power outlets for uh, charging our phones and cameras. Plenty of reading light. Good air conditioning. Right, Lynn? Safe to keep your passports in. Sparkling water, juices, beer, water. Well, our suite just turned out to be huge and magnificent. And one of the features we liked the most, of course, was the view out of the window to the Nile, where the felucas were gliding past peacefully and all the way along the Nile it was just such a pleasure to look out of the window and see this magical scene unfolding which really made this one of the best experiences in Egypt overall. The store's open. <laughs> and so it lands in it. Uh, you know, it's my job in life. Uh, pretty reasonable I think. Uh, some of these super comfy pants, seven US dollars, that's not bad. Well, you're going to want your Egyptian costume for the... I don't have an Egyptian costume, Derek. You're going to need one All for right. the Egyptian. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Wow. It's time to for something more than we kind of expected. We were pretty blown away with the size of this deck, the shaded seating areas, the bars, from the muezzins falling in the background to the felucas gliding by. We knew for sure we could only be on the Nile. After a big day of sightseeing, imagine how wonderful and indulgent it feels to come back, sit under an umbrella, have a dip in the pool, and watch Egypt flow by. Shade is a very good thing. What's great about the ship is that there's so many beautiful places, shady spots where you could sit, read a book, and drink of something refreshing after your tour. This combination of time spent in Cairo, we, we, we're going to spend three nights, plus three nights on a boat or four nights if you're coming from Luxor, is a really good way to comfortably see the major sites of the antiquities and also experience the people and the markets and the other things that are to be seen. For me, it's going to be kind of a relief to be on a Sinesta ship and be able to not have that worry all the time in the back of my mind about can only really eat two things, yogurt for breakfast and grilled chicken for lunch and dinner. Speaking of food, it was not only safe, but amazing. Maggie, this is Maggie. Hello. 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 Hello, this is Maggie. Hello. Hello. Maggie. Hello. We're just about to experience our first lunch on uh, oh, Look what I bumped into. Dessert. It looks amazing. Oh, kanafa. I think I think that's... Like we usually have international uh, dessert. Uh -huh. Like uh, we keep one Egyptian stuff in each item. Like yes. Hi. Hello. And welcome. How are you? Good, and how are you? Happy when I should be happy. When you be happy, I'm very happy. I'm happy too, and you're the executive chef. Yeah. The boss. Lost, the king of kings. Well, yeah. So fit, so fit, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, we have a Egyptian corner in here. We have a food. We have a tradition. We have a chicken, chicken with baby shambles, and we have a big bowl. Let's have a scallop in here. Ooh. We have a fruit to most Italiano. El wow. calamari. Che bella. Hey, look at this. Look at this. It's the most fresh You can try. Yes. One of the great things about the Middle East is the incredible fresh and healthy food. Here we found a tremendous variety of salads, all perfectly safe to eat, and other vegetables that were familiar and some unfamiliar. A lot of Americans think that you can't eat leafy green salads or, or uh, like uh, lettuce or anything when you're uh, traveling abroad. Usually we used a uh, tablet and sanitizer to clean, all, to clean, to wash and clean the, the old uh, vegetables. Of course, the terrific breads and the desserts which we just couldn't resist.
top it all off, the setting and looking out the Nile and watching the Felucas glide by was just something we will never forget. Elaine and I were just charmed by this cruise from the beginning, but to be objective we spoke to some other guests. We're meeting Molly and Saeed, who are native Egyptians, taking a cruise upon the St. Esther St. George. Actually, one of the most fascinating um, vacations that we can uh, do is uh, Nile cruise. Fascinating weather, uh, great uh, atmosphere, um, a little bit of privacy as well, away from everything. So I think this is one of the most magnificent um, vacations that we can take. Why did you decide to get to we always wanted to visit Wadi Oida, but we never thought it was safe enough. But just now we thought, okay, we've checked the travel restrictions and there aren't any. Is that what changed your mind about the travel restrictions? Yes. We generally are not afraid to go to places, uh, um, therefore we didn't feel that it was actually dangerous to go to Egypt. Um, and it's turned out to be the case, so uh, it's just perfectly safe and we're really enjoying it. So why did you pick this in this particular case? I think we heard it's one of the best places and always gives good customer service and quality of food and the food is very good. Yeah, we're not disappointed. Can you tell me why you chose it? Uh, the reason why we chose it was just mainly uh, because of what the the trip was uh, proposing in terms of uh, visits right. and on the other trips you had uh, one afternoon completely free doing nothing except sitting on the boat or yeah. enjoying the pool which we didn't like. Yeah. So this one Sanesta, yes, was proposing to have uh, every day, morning, afternoon something to, to, to do instead of just yeah. laying around lazy. So what do you think of it so far? Are you happy with it? Yes, definitely. The food is good, the kids are happy. Uh, for, for now we really enjoy it and I'm we would recommend too. it. The cabin also nice. They were thinking it was like in a it would be like in a train, you know, the cabin's yeah. in a train. Yeah. So when they open the door, yeah. oh, it's like hotel. <laughs> nice. So um, is there a special parting message you would like to tell our American audience? Uh, you need to come to Egypt. Very, I know you heard a lot of things before about Egypt and about all this, but now uh, Egypt it's very safe and you can you cannot you cannot ask me. You can ask all the guests around. Yes. They will tell you the same. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was pleasure. Nice and talking to you. And we're looking forward to tonight. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll be waiting for Egyptian food. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this is easily the most pleasant river cruise that Elaine and I have ever taken, including the Yangtze River, the Zambezi River, various other rivers, um, the most comfortable, friendliest, and of course the setting is just unsurpassed. They say it's the journey, not the destination that matters, but in the case of the river cruise we took on the Sinesta St. George on the Nile. I can assure you the destination is fabulous, but the journey was just unforgettable. With scenes like this, the sun setting over the Nile, sitting back with a drink in luxury, <laughs> it just doesn't get any better.
So Len and I are going to set out and explore this mystery. Yes, it really is hard to beat a scene where the buffalo are coming down to drink while you're enjoying a gourmet breakfast. And we just love it.
Got a rundown from him at the boat's assistant. We couldn't wait to see our cabins, so Emmett let us. We couldn't wait to see the cabins, so Emmett gave us a tour of the, of the ship. We couldn't wait to see our cabins, so Emmett gave us a quick tour of the ship. 